Hello guys, welcome to Pace Event. In this video, I'm going to review Processio. Processio is a software that is made for organizations and individuals that face the challenges to build custom automation and integration or to process data in variety of industries, including in highly niched uh, scenarios. And it's an alternative of uh, Make, KIO, and JPR. So it's an alternative of uh, Public Connect also, I think. And see, they're saying that Processio is a no-code, low-code, and full-code platform that lets you integrate different tools, automation uh, platform, and process data super fast. So if you are a coding person, uh, you can build a lot of things by using coding. But if you don't know coding, then this software can help you. In this case, also, they have no-code solution also. So these are the things. And see, they're running their lifetime deal on AppSumo. And here's license tier. One pricing is 49 USD. Here you will get three hours per month of execution time. But if you need more hours, then you have to upgrade to more license tier. And see on maximum uh, license tier, you can have 30 hours uh, per month of execution time. And uh, you can get at least 10% discount on this pricing. So just go to the description of this video and get the 10% discount on this process your lifetime deal. Now, without further doing, let's go to the dashboard of process you and let's explore how things work here and how it can be helpful for us. But before exploring the dashboard, if you see here have some use cases of process you and see lots of use case you can have invoice generator you can um, create approval flows in email automatically you can create conversational chatbot and then orchestra rpa untended robot then they have advanced equipment service automate purchase order process generator automated customer approval workflow accounting journal uh, entries and uh, syncing so lots of use cases they have added on their website also now let me go to the dashboard of processio here is the dashboard of processio and they have one youtube channel also you can watch their step by step video from this youtube channel but this youtube channel is not enough i think to learn about their functionalities very nicely you have to read their documentation as you can see here i have the documentation you have to go to their website and there have resources you have to use this case study getting started documentations and then you will be able completely to design these automations basically by using process you i think now let me show you one automation that has been built by using process you let me go to this process designer section and from here to create new process you have to just click here on this create new and after clicking on this create new there you will get a lots of action as you can see stop action then uh, call api you can call any type of api you can generate the document automatically you can call uh, sub process decisional um, action is available join delay for each then they have get file data map process data send email inbound email they have a lot of database work if you just click here they have sql server work they have um, documentation actions they have HTML to PDF, export to uh, CSV, export to XLSX. A lots of uh, tasks or uh, actions are available, guys. You know, in a, it, it will depend on you which action do you want to use. Let's say after starting, what do you want? You want to send them one email. So that's drag and drop it. As you can see, this is send email. And then connect it with them. That means after starting, you want to send the email. And double click here. And then you will get more functionalities here let me click here again and then see here is the action name here is the description about this action and then here is the smtp server you have to set up the smtp server now to create the credential just click here create credential and then you will be able to set up your server now i'm not setting up this server because um, for every uh, different action you have to uh, do different type of tasks basically so if i want to explore all these tasks then it will take a lot of time but I hope you get idea after adding this send email functionalities what you want to do maybe you want to delay sometime so just drag and drop this delay option and then connect this send email with this delay and then here select how much time you want to delay let's say you want to wait until maybe here 19 april and then here select your time frame and then it will be done and in this way you have to design your workflow you have to design your automation and then automatically this automation will be happen when you will schedule it it can be recurring scheduling it can be one time scheduling also and see and let's say i'll connect now this stop option now 
how you will test uh, whether your automation is uh, set up uh, in correct way or not there have the validate option just click here validate and then it will uh, say you where the problems um, happened basically as this is a dummy um, workflow that's why there have some problem so these are the things i'm not setting up this uh, uh, automation here i'll show you now a real automation if i go to this process designer section here see there have one automation and uh, this one the first one so your first process so if i explode this one to you see guys here is the process or here is the automation at first what i am doing i am starting it and then actually by this automation i am trying to build one system by which i can get the weather information or weather data of any city of the world so what we will do here at first we will just start that means we will uh, click on this run button and then it will get the api or it will call the api of weather as you can see here is the weather api and then it will get the description from this api and then it will get the temperature then it will get the uh, participation it will get the uh, wind velocity and then it will get the humidity of the city and then it will get the temperature how it feels like and then it will generate the document and you can uh, design this uh, document also on this process i will show you after some time but these are the things basically now if i validate it then you will see everything is right see successfully validated now let's say i want to run it so i'll just click here on this run and here we have to insert the city name let's say the city name is new york so we want to find the temperature data of new york let's say so i'll just click uh, uh, right here new york and then run boom guys it has been done it will take maximum five seconds see now we have to click on this check instance also you can check the instance from here just click here on this check instance so here is the uh, instance basically now from here if i click on this show details then you will be able to see more details from here so guys here have more details information instance id start time last update submitted by but uh, from where we can get the document that means human readable document and here see there have the status code there have the body output temperature 13.9 so the temperature of new york right now is 13.9 and then here have the participation wind so wind velocity is 3.6 um, they're saying humidity is 89 it feels like 12.3 um, the temperature of new york city is now 13.9 but it feels like 12.3 degrees celsius and here is the city name and here is the weather report by process here so you can copy this report you can download it from here also so let me click here on this download and then boom here is the human readable document actually so if i open it let me open it see guys here is the human readable document here is the weather in new york city today and here you can see temperature feels like 12.3 degrees celsius and humidity is 89 percent wind is uh, 3.6 kilometer per hour so in this way you will be able to see the document basically now if i click here on this option then here you will get these things uh, in the form of json you can copy them in clipboard you can download this file from here also so these are the things in this way the automation will work in this process here hope you get idea they they have a lot of um, use case from here you can see a lots of use case they have account management use case automated reporting use case client communication use case complaints use case complaints data sync use case contract crm data categorization data duplication data enrichment data processing data sync data sync between system document um, automation uh, generator they have emails automation uh, erp automation feedback and evaluation automation filtering and cleaning automation so lots of types of automations there are available hope you get idea guys now if i show you the next things there have credential manager data model document designer so you have to create the credentials from here and as you can see here i have created some credentials some data model you can create this credentials and data model from here and then you can use this credentials and data model to create the automation in this process designer section after that they have document designer if i go to this document designer section here is the document now how do you want to uh, get the document as you can see the document now showing like that but if you want to change the appearance of these documents it's also possible just click here or you can just click new 
uh, create new document and you can create new document also and from here you can customize everything you can change this image you can change this writing from here you can white label them completely um, from here and then you can remove the branding of process you also as you can see here is a simple image let's say you want to delete it just click here delete and then it will be deleted and then here you can insert your own image let's say i'll insert here this image let's say this is one image of pc one so this image will be inserted here so this is the thing so if you get idea you have to save the document from here and then it will be saved you can get these uh, variables from here as you can see temperature and here you have to just insert this uh, temperature uh, temperature um, variable as you can see here is the variable so if you just click on this variable it will be added let's say you want to add the temperature variable in this location and just notice to my cursor see here if i keep the cursor and then if i just click on this temperature here this temperature variable will be added and the temperature that is consist of this uh, city this temperature will be placed in this temperature variable section hope you get idea guys now um, okay save and exit and then let me show you the next things that are available here actually a lot of things are available guys inside this process your software but if i want to explore all the features then it will take a lot of uh, time but you can design these automations by your own need i don't know what is your need but you can design these automations by your own need then they have schedule let's say you want to run some uh, automation uh, in a specific uh, time period let's say i'll create one schedule then it you will get more information let's say the schedule name is passive video schedule and here you can insert the description if you want now here you have to select who is process or who is automation you want to schedule let's say i want to schedule this one the weather um, automation and here you can um, select the time when you want to schedule it let's say i want to schedule it at 20 april and at this time you can change this time also you can run it uh, once you can run it in every minute or in maybe every five minutes it's possible and then they have hourly daily weekly monthly yearly so i will run it let's say once so i'll select here once and you can also get the email notification just enable it and insert your email here you will get the email notification instantly and then just click here on this next step and here insert the city that means for which city you want to get the temperature data as this automation will provide us the temperature data right but in your case if you set any other automation then it will not ask you the city name maybe it will ask you the person's salary or the person's age anything can be it depends on your need it depends on your automation hope you get idea now let's say we want to um, measure the temperature of boston so if i just write here boston and then it will be done and then just click on the save and then see this automation has been created you can enable or disable this automation from here after that they have webhook now if i go to this webhook section you can create new webhook from here just click here on this create webhook here inside the webhook name and url and you can start listening you can start creating webhook from here then they have api key you can create api key also if you need the api key of process you then just click here on this create and then see this is the api key of process you you can have one key name one key value and here you can uh, see when last time you have accessed this uh, uh, api key and you can use this api key uh, to create more versatile automation with other softwares basically hope you get idea guys about this process your software the software can be very helpful for you if you want to save a lot of time if you want to save a lot of your work then it can be a great um, software for you so if you think as you need this type of software for your business or for your personal growth then you can get this process your lifetime deal from appsumo i will give the url of this process your lifetime deal in the description of this video just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount on this process your lifetime deal it's an affiliate link guys if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal i will get a small commission without costing you any additional costing so if you think guys this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal and the last thing is visit our website www.pc1.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vip lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thanks again for watching this video